Yo, what is up, guys? Joker bringing you another video for the 3.25 Settlers of Calgary League. I wanted to go ahead and bring attention to this uh, as well as go over my opinions on gold cost since I still see a large amount of people saying that the gold cost is fine. And it's really not. The people that are saying that the gold cost is fine, I'm assuming are not at high tier workers. Uh, at this point, I am only missing 17 T10 workers. I am missing uh, seven, no, yeah, I'm missing seven shippers, five disenchanters, and the, well, am I missing five enchanters? No, I'm only missing four enchanters. Uh, so I guess I'm only missing 16. And then uh, I'm missing five map runners in this map device, right? Everything else is T10, right? So all of my miners are T10. All of my uh, farmers are all t10 and i'm going to showcase this in depth here in a second when i'm going over the cost and why i feel like it needs to be buffed but then all my smelters are t10 as well and then these front two map devices have all t10 workers right so i have pretty much maxed out king's march i'm 16 level 10s away from maxing out king's march and the reason why i feel like the gold cost is unacceptable is i see people on average getting 8 to 15 gold a map right that's like the average player that's what they're receiving that's what i've heard them say like this is what they're getting if you juice a little bit more and you do specialized strategies you can get like 20 35k in red maps if you juice even more you're going to be able to get maybe 50 plus K in a um, 50 plus K in a T17 map, which one, a lot of players can't even run T17 maps, let alone afford T17 maps in poverty league. Let's go ahead and take a look at the cost, right? So right now with nothing running besides my uh farmers because i have no ore to mine and everything smelted in a bars already so nothing else is going on right now i have a static cost of 17k just for my farmers a counter argument that might come up is oh your farmers cost too much blah 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 um not really i have yet to find like the jobs roll in ranges, right? So farming goes from like 700 to at a high end, like 1700, depending on the farmer. Uh, but I have not found a T10 farmer that is under 700 gold, right? So that is going to be the floor. Um, and the roof, I, I wanted to say is 1700. Where's my most expensive guy? He's like 1500 or something. Yeah. I, I only have one worker that's actually 1500. Everything else is from pretty much 750 to 1000. And you need 16 of these. No, you need 18 of these workers. So even at a base level, right? Let's say we take my cheapest guy, which was like 770, and I somehow find a miracle of finding 17 other of the same guy, which I'm telling you right now is almost literally impossible. The amount of gold you have to spend to find one T10 is ridiculous. That's putting your base cost at 13K just for your farmers. And that's not even including anything else. And that's being extremely generous. So that means that it's using the same amount of gold that the average player is getting in one map 
per hour. So that means that the average player is going to have to constantly be mapping or trying to juice their maps as hard as they can just to barely maintain farmers. If your argument is turn off some of your farmers, I, I, I'm sorry, that's just stupid. Why, why, why would you nerf yourself because of a poorly managed gold system from GGG? That just doesn't make sense to me. We can go ahead and take a look at miners as well. These are much cheaper. I think my cheapest miner is, yeah, my cheapest miner is 311. So if by some miracle you find 11 other miners like that, that would only add uh, about 4K gold, right? But the chances you're finding that is not true. The average is more like 350 to 400. Actually, actually I think the average is probably closer to 350. Uh, but still, if you go ahead and you add that 350 times 12, and then you add that to the cost of your farmers, the 13,860, then you're at 18K gold an hour. And that's just having base miners and base farmers. But it gets significantly worse because when you mine ore, the other part of that is you have to smelt it into bars. And around the same, about 3 50 is what I'll average this, even though majority of these are significantly higher. So that would be adding another 4,200 gold onto it. And that means that you're already at 22K an hour without doing anything else in the mechanic. This is with you not even participating in the mechanic. This is you not sending any ships out. This is you not running any map runners. This is you not uh, disenchanting anything, right? This is you literally just mapping. You're going to be at an average cost with T10 workers of at least 22K. Now, like I mentioned, you're not going to find workers this cheap because if you're trying to get to 10 uh, t10 workers then you're just grabbing any and every t10 worker that you see so the average cost is probably going to be much higher you can roll unlucky and only find the higher cost t10 workers so at that point it's do you sacrifice um, do you sacrifice the amount of materials you're able to receive just because it's a poorly managed system? Or do you try to map constantly to make sure that you can maintain your King's March? Because like, if we go ahead and take a look at T10 shippers, right? I'm going to go ahead and unsocket all of these real quick. And we'll get their average cost. So it looks like the average shipper is about being generous. Once again, we'll say 550 gold, right? We'll say about there, 550 gold. So that would be 550 times six. Let's say you only run one ship. So only running one ship would put you at, uh, let me go here, 22260 plus 3.3. Running only one ship would put you at 25K. And at this point, we've already bypassed... Um, at this point, we've already bypassed the average player by several times, right? That's no longer one map. Now the average player has to run three, four maps. The juicer has to run at least two maps to really keep up with that. The 
person running T17 maps is still fine. But what if you want to turn on your other ships? That would be an additional 6K, so you're at 31K, okay? And if you just want to do that, you're fine. But let's say your ships come back and you turn on your disenchanter. Average disenchanting cost, let's say, even though it's not like fucking shown that even T9 disenchanters aren't this cheap, let's just say that it's... um. Let's just say that it is only 900 gold an hour per disenchanter, right? You, you still have to have the six disenchanters, which is another 5,400 gold. So that puts us at a person running just their farm with high quality workers. And uh, hold on real quick. Okay, sorry. That puts us at 37K, right? Almost 38K. And that's not even running all T10 disenchanters. So we're at a point where it's almost impossible for the average player who's getting 8, 15K a map to sustain on top of the fact that you're locking them out of one of the end game systems entirely. Let's say that you don't want to run any shippers and you just want to run a mapper instead, which I would argue is, is the much more profit for one T 10 mapper on average, it's going to cost you about 12 K, right? So we would go and we would take away the cost of running the, uh, we would take away the cost of running the three ships. And let's say we only turn on one map device, right? So that would bring us back down to this 2,200, uh, right there, 22,260. And then plus the 12K for running one map device, which once again, you're not going to find map runners that are all the same cost that are all that cheap so if you choose to run one map device you're at 34k are you kind of seeing the problem here where gold is so unattainable in the end game of king's march you're not going to be able to maintain your city So I'm sorry, I just don't understand how some people are saying that the gold gathering rate is fine. It's not. It's terrible. I feel like the people that are saying that gold gathering is fine are not at the end game of King's March. They're probably with like T7 workers or something like that, which isn't bad but why introduce t10 workers if there's no realistic way for the average player to actually be able to take advantage of it it just doesn't make sense right now with the cost of having all of my map devices all of my ships out my disenchanter going and the natural production, it's somewhere around 80K. Now, I know the argument for that is don't run everything. Yeah, okay. But I just proved that even if you don't run everything, at a bare minimum, you're looking at about 22K with workers. At a bare minimum, if you get extremely lucky on rolls. And that is just bad. You you can't argue that that is just bad. The only alternative is not running T10 workers, which is stupid. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to go ahead and make this video, bring attention to it. Hopefully this video gets some kind of traction and GGG is like, oh, hey, maybe we didn't balance this right. Or someone else will be able to go ahead and get GGG to notice, hey, this isn't balanced right. Because as of right now, they still haven't announced any updates for King's March, which one 
is really weird, but two, um, it is a little concerning. But yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay up to date with this and future content. And until next time, take care.